What is going on everybody, I am Wikidom and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up a green screen in OBS Studios. Now before we get started, one of the most common misconceptions about green screen is they're far too expensive to run and you have to have an expensive camera to run them. That is complete and utter bullshit. All you need to do is go down to your local shop and buy a cheap piece of fabric or go onto Amazon and pick up a really cheap green screen that's about £10. And that's all you need. Yes, you're not going to get the best quality material, uh, but you are still going to be able to get the green screen and set it up in OBS. And in terms of hanging it up, just hang it up on the ceiling using pins or pin it to each wall and have it pulled across. That's all you need to do. And you don't need to stretch out. This is quite a loose green screen. Uh, you don't need to stretch out really tight or, create, or take any of the wrinkles out. You can leave it as it is, as long as there's no like major different shadows in it. That's all you really need to do. And then once you've got all of this set up, all you need to do is come into OBS Studios. Now, when you're in OBS Studios, all you need to do is find out whereabouts your webcam is on your scene. So mine's named webcam, as you would. Uh, just right click that and go on to filters. Uh, when you're on filters, you don't need to worry about the audio. You can leave that blank because we're only working with the image effects at the moment. So if you come down and click the plus sign and then go to chroma key and pick a name. I'm going to call it chroma key because it's nice and easy. And there you go. Bang. It's already done half the job for you. It's picked up. There is going to be a green screen. Uh, mo it will automatically go onto green. You can have different colors. So you can have green. You can have blue. You can have magenta. And you can have a custom. So if you're having custom colors, I know some people uh, use... Uh, pink screens for some unknown reason all these different color screens and that just allows you to basically come into here Select a color and pick any custom color that doesn't matter with me because I'm going to stick with green uh, Now what you can see is there a bit of fuzziness around me and there's uh, some white spots up here All you need to do to remove that is uh, go to similarities as soon as you're in similarities uh, Just pull it across until then white bits and the fuzziness disappears and as you can see I have no fuzziness around me at the moment. That's all you need to do, really. You just need to make sure you've got all of these fuzzy bits out from here. As you can see, there's a bit of shadow down here. Uh, that doesn't matter. You can crop that out when you're in the main screen. Uh, so what you do when you've done all this, go to close. And then you see this bit here is green. That's where I've cropped out already the bit which is down on this side, actually, which is a shadow. All you need to do to fix that is click alt and then just pull and drag it across. So there you go. There's a bit of shadow there. So I'm just going to pull that across to get rid of that shadow. That's just where I haven't stretched out or pinned it on. If to fix that, all you need to do is stretch it or pin it, and that's all you need to do. But that's it. You're set up, and I'm now inside OBS. I have no shadow around me. There's nothing fuzzy. It's all working properly. So as soon as I move around, it's all setting up absolutely perfectly. There's no shadows or delay or anything. And then all you need to do is put on your gaming overlay behind you, and you're inside the game. And that's it. That is all you need to do to set up a green screen in OBS. So I'd like to thank everybody for watching. I have been Wiggy Dom. Do not forget to like, comment, and most importantly, do not forget to subscribe. And until next time, guys, have fun.